So let's uh, let's kick it off. You just issued your uh, third quarter report a little while ago, and uh, you know where are people getting attacked? And maybe start summarizing that. Yeah, sure. So it's a good starting point. Uh, let me provide some background and context. So we are a BYOT SOC as a service. What I mean by that is like. We do not ship an agent. We don't ship a network appliance. We don't require customers to purchase a SIM. What we do is we integrate with the technology our customers have already invested in. So that gives us unique visibility across endpoints, network devices, visibility into cloud applications and cloud infrastructure. Um, and also think about Expel as we provide a SOC as a service. We're monitoring hundreds of, hundreds of customers every day from various cyber attacks. So really, our quarterly threat report is rooted in telling, you know, uh, telling listeners and readers like, what are we seeing, what types of attacks that we're seeing. So really the TLDR, Kirk, is about 60% of the incidents that we detect on behalf of our customers are identity-based. And what I mean by that is we're not finding malware on endpoints. 60% of the time we're seeing attackers compromise credentials, typically via like phishing emails. I'd also like to throw in there's probably a little bit of like password spraying and credential stuffing, like reuse and compromise credentials. And what we're seeing is a high degree of compromised credentials used to break into typically email applications like SaaS email applications, specifically Microsoft 365. That's kind of uh, interesting because a lot of Pentest group, that's a lot of what we do when we're pen testing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a really viable attack path. It's like, listen, there's a lot of great defenses in terms of protecting an endpoint from malicious code execution. And you and I had chatted previously about living off the land in terms of using you know, programs that already exist to execute things that they shouldn't. But when we think about breaking into an email account, it's a, it's a re really viable attack path into an organization. Like I can land in your email account, possibly undetected. I can sit and monitor and kind of read the level of, of access that you have and maybe use it as a pivot point into other applications like, I don't know, like payroll information, like Workday. So one thing to call out is in our monitoring, we have seen a shift from focus just on like emails and using that access into email accounts to pivot into payroll applications like Workday with the goal or objective to modify your payroll settings to an attacker controlled bank account. So at the end of the day, it's a viable attack path. And we're seeing that attack path used to perpetuate payroll fraud. Yeah, 